is waste, is not being used because it's irrelevant for the human eye to read, but is a very rich source of information for a machine. Decision making at the right time and at the right place is nothing less than a technical revolution and the paradigm shift on the clinical side at the same time. This is a Context Vision podcast. CEO Gerald Perch and the CTO Gunnar uh, Laten. Gerald, Context Vision's image enhancement technology has been a world leader for 40 years within medical imaging. You deliver solid top line growth. How will you grow the top line to $100 million? Excellent question. Thank you, uh, Ole. So, what we're seeing in the uh, medical imaging industry is nothing less than a technical revolution and the paradigm shift on the clinical side at the same time. So let's go a little bit more in detail. So what's happening on the clinical side is that today, patients have to go and be referred to an imaging center for a diagnosis. Now think about, we could simplify that process and get the imaging equipment and tests be performed where the patients are, which would be in clinical settings or it could be just as you and me at home. So if we could use imaging technology as, you know, for example, ultrasound, uh, and make it easy to read and interpret uh, for you and me at home, that'll be a fantastic new setting. So what's behind it on the technical side, right, is really that we see a, uh, a, 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 a revolution happening where we move from interpreting images to creating what we call digital biomarkers. So a quantification of the imaging industry. Let me give you an example, right? If we could focus the precious time of trained imaging experts to read and interpret complex cases, but we could free them up and have machines create those digital biomarkers and giving an interpretation that would ease off the healthcare systems globally uh, uh, big times. And that especially is going to be needed for chronic conditions, uh, such as metabolic diseases, for instance, that are on, on the rise, where you don't only need a single diagnostic test, but you undergo a series of check-ins throughout your uh, disease or health journey. So if we deliver better data, better data quality for digital biomarkers, That'll be a huge change from better image quality to better data quality to easier, faster, more effective and more efficient diagnostics in the imaging industry. And that's what we're betting on. That's what's going to take us into a whole different category of revenue from a context vision side. Uh, take metabolic diseases such as uh, liver diseases. We have a penetration rate of around 25% of the general population that potentially uh, has those conditions. So think about the number of uh, imaging tests that we would have to deliver. I don't think uh, current systems are able to cope with it. So we need what we call point of care technologies. And in our case, we're going to look first into point of care technologies within ultrasound. So systems that can be easily wheeled into the patient's room, or there's even handheld versions that will be available for you and me at home. Mm. So what you're actually talking about is the next generation of diagnosis. Exactly. So uh, what we're going after is really to support the transition from image quality into a data quality business. But is it similar to, you know, the, we've had the pregnancy test for, for many, many years. Is it, uh, you know, similar uh, kind of thing you're doing now? Yes. So we're in, instead of a, a, a subjective interpretation, we deliver a very clear biomarker, digital biomarker that has a quantified value that will uh, give you the exact metric to interpret the status uh, of a health condition. Uh, or in our case, if we look to more metabolic diseases of, uh, of uh, uh, disease conditions. How do you then plan to monetize this disrupt, uh, disruption in the, in the industry? We're going after uh, a, a very simple platform, Play. So 
we don't intend to create digital biomarkers ourselves, but we need to deliver the data that is required to build up those biomarkers. So let me be more specific. Today, a big portion of the raw data of the signal from imaging systems that we take into our software is waste. It's not being used because it's irrelevant for the human eye to read, but it's a very rich source of information for a machine to create such digital biomarkers. So if we distill those additional information out of the raw data that is available already to us today, and we can provide that to OEMs and even to third-party AI companies that want to run uh, clinical trials and validations, that is going to be a very big platform business for us. So very similar to what we do today in image enhancement, we're taking the next step and move into data enhancement business. And probably a better diagnosis. Exactly. So the way of monetization, and if you're going into the ideas on the, um, or the, the, the opportunities, uh, I should say, on the business model side, that'll give us a complete different picture, because now we're moving more into a clinical space where paper patient or paper scan opportunities, uh, and given the magnitude of the disease penetrations that we talked about, uh, will create a huge financial opportunity for us. Uh, Gunnar, uh, Gerald, he mentioned POCUS. What does he mean by that? Yeah, so POCUS stands for point of care ultrasound, which literally means moving ultrasound systems into the point of care setting, where you can enable uh, decision making at the right time and at the right place. And really, any ultrasound system can be, be brought into this point of care setting. But uh, because of the benefits in having a small, low cost, easy to use device, mostly handheld and compact ultrasound systems is used for POCUS. You often mention acquisition intelligence when you talk about POCUS. Well, what do you mean by that? This relates to the users in the POCUS setting. So the users, they are typically not very used to using ultrasound. So a challenge when uh, using the ultrasound systems is that you need to place the probe at exactly the right position and at exactly the right angle to acquire the correct uh, data. And then uh, as a second step, you need to look at the pretty complex picture illustrating what's inside the human body. And with acquisition intelligence, the goal is to uh, help the user in both acquiring the data and the correct image and also interpreting uh, what you could see on the image. Okay, so, so if you start off with uh, the wrong image, then you know, you, you go wrong. Exactly, then it's useless information. You also talk about data quality as a new concept. What do you mean by that? So Context Vision, we have been uh, selling products in image quality. And Im the image quality is used for uh, providing the best possible image for visual assessment. So the doctor would look at the image and uh, make a decision based on what's uh, visible in the image. But with the point of care applications, it's more important to uh, provide some uh, measurements and uh, uh, quantification of what's inside the body. And for the algorithms to work in an accurate way, high data quality is important. So what we will focus on now in Context Vision is to uh, move into the data quality area and provide software and products for having the best possible data quality for quantitative purposes. But what kind of diseases does POCUS uh, you know, uh, cover? The ultrasound technology is very widely applicable to detect most uh, anatomies and uh, physiology in the body, such as blood flow. It can penetrate both shallow and more deeply into the human body, so the applications are pretty wide. Uh, we have decided as a company to focus on what's happening in the healthcare with a big pressure on managing chronic diseases. So our focus will be chronic disease management and diagnostics, especially in the uh, liver application.
Okay, and uh, Gunnar, you, you were quite instrumental uh, developing ENIFI, which is a unique laboratory service that provides cancer diagnostics using machine learning and AI, which Context Vision spun off a couple of years ago. It took more than eight years to develop. Do you have to wait that long with POCUS? No, in this case, revenue should be much quicker. And this is related to that the POCUS area is closer to our current technology, close and closer to our current uh, customers, and also more similar in terms of business models. Gerald, the world population is getting older and older. The need for medical services is skyrocketing. Where do you see POCUS in this picture? Well, we've just learned the huge opportunities uh, that we have with adding data enhancement and data quality business uh, into the existing imaging systems uh, world. If we look into the chronic conditions and managing chronic conditions, at the end of the day, it all starts managing a, a more healthy and better lifestyle to prevent conditions from becoming serious. So think about using ultrasound data as input to a mobile app that could help everyone to stage, to quantify their healthiness status for those relevant diseases. Wouldn't that make a big impact? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's impressive what you're doing. And uh, what is the market potential here? Well, if we stay with the examples that we just talked about, chronic conditions and in particular liver fat, uh, you know, we talk about a 25% penetration of the global population, which is around 7 billion. So make up the number. And it's not just one diagnostic uh, workup. It's a series of several check-in points. Not to mention that there are several other metabolic conditions that are potentially addressable. Uh, not to mention that there are cancer conditions uh, that are potentially addressable. Not to mention that there is a whole set of cardiovascular diseases that we should also uh, go into, uh, and neurodegenerative diseases as well. So, you know, it is a huge market uh, that we can uh, address providing data quality into point of care ultrasound settings. If we stick a little bit more and you ask about time to revenue, the here and now, uh, and what we can address uh, given our existing business and customer and technology environment, we have around 300,000 ultrasound systems on the market every year. And they could all benefit from using data enhancement provided by Context Vision. Isn't that a good starting point? This is a Context Vision podcast.